Yo, what's going on guys? Um, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making another cooking video. This is going to be a very simple, basic one. This is one of my family favorite ones. Like, people, my mom makes it a lot. Um, I've made it a couple times. It's really quick and simple, in my opinion. It is, like, a very, like, fast, fancy meal. Because, like, some people, like, this is technically steak. So, it, it's practically a fancy meal. I'm going to show you everything that we use to make it. So, first of all... Obviously, you need the uh, I have no idea how to pronounce it. You tuna steak. Just just look for tuna steak. They'll usually come in like little vacuum sealed bags. Um, defrost them, and then we're gonna marinate them. So I'm gonna show you what I marinate them in. Okay, so went ahead and put soy sauce on it, and then for seasonings, literally just a little bit of ginger, a little bit of garlic, and then honey as well. So it's nice and sweet. Um, you let that sit like that for a little bit. I'm gonna go to start working on the ramen for this. Okay, so this ramen recipe that I'm about to show you is something that I literally posted on my TikTok about two years ago because it used to be a trendy thing on TikTok that people would do. They would turn their regular instant ramen into super gourmet ramen, and that's exactly what I'm about to do. So if you want to see how to do that, allow me to show you. So first of all, obviously, you put water on a pot. You let it boil. Simple enough, right? We're just going to start with that. Oh my god, my video is lagging again. This happened before once in an old video. That's so weird. Why is it doing this? Okay, so, um, like I said, this is a very fast meal. Literally, the amount of time that it takes for the ramen to boil is about how long this entire meal takes. Like, this meal probably takes about 15 minutes to make. So, while the water is boiling for the ramen, I'm going to go ahead and make my frozen veggie that I'm doing. I'm doing broccoli. If you want to make fresh broccoli, you can. Good for you. I don't have fresh broccoli, so I'm doing what I what I got so um, microwave it for whatever the microwave ingredients are. I think it's like four to five minutes. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I am almost dropped my phone. That would've been really awkward. Okay, so before you go ahead and put the ramen in here, I'm also gonna go ahead and start making the sauce for the ramen when the ramen's done. So to do this, I'm simply gonna put butter in a pan, an ungodly amount of brown sugar, um, a decent amount of soy sauce, um, you basically actually want to do like an equal ratio of that. So like enough soy sauce that it covers the bottom of the pan. And then I don't measure my brown sugar. I measure it with my heart, but I'd say probably like three heaping tablespoons or something like that. Okay, so I went ahead and put the ramen in the water. I'm going to go ahead and put the seasoning packets in there. You don't have to. I'm doing it just because it really doesn't hurt to do it. Um, the sauce is already starting here. Just the ingredients I already told you about, but I'm also going to go ahead and say this. I've said this in the past. I don't know if I said it in a video, but the best barbecue sauce has brown sugar and honey so i'm gonna say the best teriyaki, teriyaki sauce which is essentially what we're making it also has both brown sugar and honey so go ahead and add honey to that as well and then for seasonings you're gonna add garlic powder and a lot of ginger okay everything is going really fast so if i like miss a step or i completely accidentally skip over something i am incredibly sorry i'm gonna try to fix it but this just about ready to go i'm gonna drain it but before i do i'm gonna take a little bit of the water from it and add it to the sauce just so that the sauce is liquidy enough um that is boiling over which means it's time to add eggs uh if you don't like eggs in your ramen you don't have to put eggs in your ramen but i am and since i use two packets of ramens i'm doing four eggs because i do two eggs per ramen i just i prefer eggs okay also um around the same time as all of this is happening um i'm also going to go ahead and put the broccoli that i already microwaved I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of oil, throw on some garlic powder, salt and pepper, and throw it in the air fryer. Okay, so now the ramen is done. It's just simmering, cooking. Now, literally the one last thing we have to do is the tuna steak itself. Something about the tuna steak, it is kind of like regular steak in the sense that you don't want the middle to be cooked, but um, it's more so you really don't want the middle to be cooked. Like you, you want it to be practically completely raw in the middle. And um, so to do that, you're gonna want to get a pan, put oil down on the pan, and you're gonna to wanna to sear it on both sides for about a minute and a half. And then that's literally it. It's quick, it's simple, it's done. And then the ramen, like I said, is done. It's just uh, staying on the burner so it can stay nice and warm. The broccoli should be done any second now. Everything should be done in about three minutes. So I'll see you in about three minutes. Okay, so the final plated shot, obviously beautiful broccoli, if my camera will focus, beautiful acai tuna steak. Am I pronouncing that completely incorrectly? Uh, I, I call it ahai. Ahai tuna steak. Right, so. Yeah, no, but I mean, yours always sounds more correct than mine does. And then beautiful, beautiful ramen. Um, like I said, that exact recipe for that ramen is literally on my TikTok if you want to go find it in a three minute format instead of this five minute long YouTube video. But um, if you're watching this point, you've probably already seen it. I mean, how I made it in this video. So yeah, uh, but that's it for this one. Um, I will sh meet up with you guys halfway through it, but it'll probably actually be after it's completely done, to be honest. 
Yo, what's going on, guys? So, um, I accidentally, <laughs> rookie mistake, I accidentally forgot to do a halfway through it, review it, and accidentally forgot to uh, make an outro or anything like that. I will go ahead and say this. Um, it is really, really good. If you c get the chance to try it, you definitely should. Um, I 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's a nice, quick meal to make. Um, really, really delicious. Only thing is, um, I accidentally overcooked it. So, like, you're looking at that meat, and it might not look the best. It's because I, I accidentally cooked it for too long, and I didn't realize that until I was eating it. Um, overall, it was pretty good. That was literally the only problem. I accidentally overcooked the meat. But other than that, solid 10 out of 10 meal. If you ever want something quick and easy, it's pretty good. It'll also impress people. Like, some people will see that, and they'll be like, damn, this boy knows how to cook. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty simple. You guys can do it. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.